Hello darlings, I'm going to try to make this as fast as possible so I can do it in one take. God told me to give y'all a message and uh, you know I keeps it real. I don't want none of y'all to feel sorry for me. If you notice I ain't got my cash app up, I don't need you to start a go me fund. Children listen up and parents as well. Everybody. I have fought tooth and nail to keep my family together. I got some good children. They are real good to me and very loyal. They love me dearly. But just like every parent in every household, every grandmother that's left to raise their grandchildren, aunt, uncle, mentor, uh, my children been cutting up and it has worn me out. I have fought tooth and nail to keep them safe from treacherous situations for my own family. My own family came and stood on my property when I first got it back in November of this past year and said, I wonder how long it's going to take for her to lose it all. Just like Joseph, Dakota, many colors, they kept throwing me in a pit and each and every time I tried to get out, they stepped on my fingers. So I could fall back in. My own husband mistreated me. Ex-husband. was I don't care who I'm talking about. If you feel like I'm talking to you, that's your guilt and you shouldn't have done it. But the pit that y'all created for me is still sitting there waiting for you because God going to let you fall in it. It's your turn. See, you thought you got away and left me unscathed. To Ann T that left me without a job. My son total lost my car. 2018, first big item that I ever purchased for myself and I worked hard for them. It's gone. I've been sick. Everybody walked away from me. My own, what I thought was my best friend, called me a broke bee and asked me was I on drugs just because I lost everything instead of giving me a hand up. What else? The same lady that got mistreated with the neighbors outside, 2.3 million of you laughed as they disrespected me and I received no help. And now I'm about to lose it all, but I'm glad to walk away from it. So I don't need your pity. I'm about to lose my house and everything. But here's to looking up to Jesus and taking a chance.